In some cases, the data obtained from NK's electronical devices conflicted with claims she meant she made in voluntary interviews with <laughs> investigators. She lied. Let's condense all that down. She lied to the investigators. And I love the way Nancy says this. <laughs> and I'll say it again. Um, the data obtained from NK's electronical, electronic devices conflicted with the claims she made in her interviews. What? Someone else other than me doesn't believe her? I thought it was just me and a few little YouTubers have been kicked off YouTube for telling the truth. Well, Nancy's saying it now. Nancy's saying it now. She lied. In my opinion, and Nancy Grace's opinion. She's got no alibi. Nothing. Sunday, nothing. Monday, nothing. No alibi. <laughs> the case is done. It's the cover up we're on to now, guys. It's the cover up and the accomplices. Chris Watts, Ellen Accomplice. I think you all know who it is, his mistress. It's not a witch hunt. I'm not a witch hunt. I'm just saying she needs questioning properly. A lie detector properly. Polygraph to you properly. Don't you think? Is that not fair? I think it is fair. Nancy thinks it's fair. Don't you, Nancy? The longer this cover up goes on, the more people I find involved, which is not good for an Indarco or Rourke or Shanann's family. That's why they all want rid of me. Our investigations are just too good. Are we supposed to believe this crap? Really? So why do these people claim NK is innocent? The Rusaks. Why do they claim she's innocent now? They're the ones that got me started on it. Mainstream media, why do they declare she's innocent? Why do mainstream media say that she's innocent? Why does DA Rock say she's innocent? This is not a witch hunt, I'm not gonna investigate her. That's his job. Why does Chris Watts say she's innocent? Why did every single documentary skip over her? Um, we introduced ourselves in the lobbies and earlier, so we're just going to do that again real quick. My name is Kevin Kobach. I'm with the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, and uh, we're assisting the Frederick Police Department with this case involving uh, Chris Watts. And this is Tim Martinez, also an agent at CBI. Sir, if you just introduce yourself. Uh, Dwayne Kessinger, I'm Nick, Nicole's father. Nicole Kessinger no longer exists. 
of course, all innocent people change their name and disappear, don't they? Remember, he said, practicing Wiccan. The speculation that he's ex-military, I can't prove it. And I can't prove his connection is to politics. Some say we're some sort of spy, but I have no knowledge of that. What we do know is somehow that Dwayne stayed in the interrogation room. And it's uh, on, on earring influence on the interrogation. Thank you, Annette Thompson. And we are the most intelligent people on the <laughs> case. You're right, because we're a study group. Well, there you are then. So I want to know your thoughts on this. I could show you those pictures all day. We won't do any, won't make any difference. That's not a natural hairline, is it? That's a natural hairline, right? See the difference? Okay, she has a receding hairline. I understand that. Yeah, I understand that. Anyone can see that. How did Tammy not see this? I want you to take a good look at this picture, folks. Very, very important. This is my exhibit A. One, two, three, four. Almost finger-like. Deep taking stuff. No scratches, no. We don't know. Um, this is about a week afterwards. We don't know what makeup that NK possesses, do we? Why wasn't she checked over? Why wasn't she? Why weren't her arms checked over? Anyone can see that there's some sort of fracas there going on with her head, right? It was at 100 degrees on this day, nearly. Why is she wearing a hoodie with her sleeves pulled down over her hands when everybody else in the station is in shirt sleeves? Why? You can clearly see here there's a big problem. Would uh, Tammy notice it if she got in close contact with anything? Would she see it as a red flag? Would she ask to see her arms? Let's go back to North Carolina. Okay. He went to North Carolina and he was trying to rehab his marriage with his wife. Uh, he said. Do you, do you he know was her name at this point? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay saying her name? Uh, it's Shanann. All right. And do you know the children's name? Yes, it's Bella and Celeste. Okay. Of course. You really want to drag the names out of them. You know her name? Uh, Shanann. You know the children's name? Yeah, Bella and Celeste. Miserable cat. She really wanted to he, he drag the names out of him. You know her name? Uh, you know the children's name? Yeah, Bella and Celeste. Miserable cat. Miserable cat. Miserable cat. <laughs> the case is done. It's the cover up we're on to now, guys. It's the cover up and the accomplices. Do you know the only evidence I've got? And I might get in trouble for saying this, but I don't care. The piece of evidence I put to you, my study group, NK refused to wear T-shirts in any of the interviews. She wore long sleeves and covered her body every single time, and she was never checked. The evidence I've got for you is a clump of air missing out of her head. You can go back and watch my film. She has a clump of hair missing out of her head. The only signs of a struggle I've got is on someone that was never charged or questioned about 
Why have you got long sleeves on? Can we see your arms? Why have you got that piece of hair missing? That's the only circumstantial evidence I've got of a struggle in the house. We're not fools here, I'm sure detective. A team alive. We're not fools. Okay. Can you speak up just a little bit so the recorder? I know you're tired and you're stressed. Um, and we won't be here any longer than we have to be. You've already had a conversation with people before. You came here on your own free will to talk to us. We picked you up at, at your request and brought you here. Straight away, we have to ask, why is he there? How is he there? Well, he's there protecting his daughter. That's why he's there. How is he there? Because the police picked him up, as they just said, and took him there. She's not a minor. She's not incapacitated. If she was, they'd have a lawyer there if she was in some kind of incapacity. So why is he there? He's there to influence the narrative. That much is clear. You don't see anyone else turn up with their mum and dad. The only slightly things like it is that Nico Axon was there when a son was being interviewed. But Dave detected a very short shift of that and said, look, we're talking to him, not you, you know. But they seem scared of this guy. They seem genuinely afraid that something like he's told him before, look, if you say the wrong thing, we're going to walk out of here. I think they're on walking on eggshells with Dwayne. Oh, yeah, Dad. This is supposed to be an interview who's um, a witness in the behaviour of Chris Watts. This is just a total cover-up of any involvement by her. I have nothing to say about the research. My concentration is on the, the case that is obviously a cover-up, guys. That's four TV programmes that they've had every reference that she might be involved eliminated. So what did that tell me? One, they have money because they're threatened to sue. And two, she has a lot to hide. Innocent? Is that how someone who is innocent behaves? It's one thing being innocent, another thing being guilty, it's another thing having so much clout that the whole damn thing's covered up, that the whole investigation's closed down. And Tammy says, I was working so hard at it and the clock stopped and they stopped the investigation because of her dad. Having some sort of power to close it all down. He even went to the interview with her. Stop leading her, guys. I say talk to the FBI, right? Stop leading her. Who has that power? Who has that much power to treat the FBI like little children? Was this part of closing it down as quickly as possible? Right, let's get these interviews done. Then we can grind it down and close it. The sooner we close it, the better. And the police are sort of playing along with that, that scenario, aren't they? Yep, we want to get it all shut down. Shut it down. I'm not stupid, am I? I'm clever. <laughs> I am the last person, Emma, in the world to say that woman is innocent. I spent two and a half years being told I'm witch hunting her and trying to destroy her life. Where'd you get that crap from? I hope you're not really saying that she is. No, I'm not saying she's innocent. I'm not saying she's a murderer either. I'm saying she needs to be questioned. All right, let's get that straight. My opinion day one, and still is today, she's got a lot of questions to answer. And I'll explain that now. I think she's innocent. That's the biggest load of bull I've in my life. <laughs> if anybody tells you I think that she's innocent, refer them to my body of work for the last two and a half years. Jesus. Sorry to use his name in vain. Jesus take the wheel.
Don't ever say that to my face. Don't ever say that to my face. I have spent years telling people that she is some way involved. And I proved it over and over. You can get up and leave at any time. You don't have to talk to us. If there's a question you don't want to answer, don't answer it. If you don't want to talk anymore, just tell me I want to, I, tell me I want to leave. And I'm kind of in the way of the door, but you're not being, uh, you're not being uh, interrogated as a criminal suspect. We're here to understand. We're not doing this for money. We're not doing this for money. We're not doing this for money or anything. No. I, I'm exposing the truth. I have to be stopped. And I don't know how they're going to stop me, but they, they, they will somehow. That's why I say to you guys, I want you to watch my videos, even record them, keep them. Is there anyone there that's recorded all my videos? If you are, if there's anyone out there that's recorded all of AD's videos, can you please contact Kaka or Bubbles? We need to get in contact with you because I, I'm going to be taken down one day. I'm going to be taken out of this channel one day. If any of you have got the facilities to record all my stuff and put it somewhere on a hard drive, can you contact us at this email? Can you put up our email, please? If anyone's got all my product, can you please look after it, including Patreon? Because I'm going to be closed down one day. How do I know that? Because YouTube are okay until you're not any use to them and they will close you down. When they close you down, all my stuff will disappear. And uh, I just thought I put up quite a good investigation. So. Alan Vinicum, the scammer. It's about personal hatred, jealousy, jealous. You're all damn jealous. And I know it, and you know it. Scum, a scammer, a crook. You idiot, you scammer, armchair detective. You liar, you scum of the earth, armchair detective. It's about personal hatred, jealousy, jealous. You're all damn jealous and i know it and you know it <laughs> <laughs>